off the bus, obviously, and uh, I'm at a, uh, a sort of an unusual uh, section of Seoul in the sense that uh, uh, we're very close to the uh, the green belt, uh, the green belt area, and uh, what that means is that on the one side, on the left side of me, is uh, uh, is Gangnam, Sochugu, as one normally experiences it. Very, very. Uh, uh, very developed, very built-up area that was all basically constructed in a huge boom that started, uh, uh, I guess, after the Korean War, but really during the uh, 1960s, 1970s, and 1980s. Uh, it looks like uh, it looks like a sort of a newly developed uh, neighborhood in any uh, large city in the world. But uh, the sheer scale and density of it is, is something that you've really got to see to experience. Then, of course, uh, there are there's the Nambu uh, Express uh, or the Nambu Dado, uh this sort of uh, inner city uh, expressway uh, just behind me right now, um, and. Uh, it's uh, it's an eight-lane behemoth, but that's not unusual in Seoul. Uh, there are a lot of these uh, huge roadways. They they basically crisscross the entire city. They crisscross most uh, Korean cities. And uh, what we're doing now is uh, we're walking across the uh, uh, the expressway, and we're walking toward the other side. As I said, this is an unusual area because on the far side is uh, sort of a green belt which is a uh, very nice uh, a forested area just uh, uh, that's part of a green belt that originally uh, was supposed to contain Seoul and has done a semi-successful job at doing so. But in any case, uh, this, is, uh, this is what you can see on the, uh, on the other side of the uh, Nambu uh, Dato, the Nambu Expressway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enter this uh, this green area because there are a number of walking trails on it. This is close to a mountain called Umyeonsan, which is uh, where Sugi and I met, close to the Aesugi Jandang. But uh, uh, if you uh, continue along this, uh, this sort of uh, range of uh, small mountains, uh, you can take a hiking trail that takes you all the way to Gwachan, which is uh, uh, used to be a suburb of Seoul, not even in the city of Seoul, I guess. And you can walk uh, all the way there along these uh, these green trails, which is uh, very very nice. Uh, we're actually extremely close to uh, a very built up area, but uh, as you can see, we're now entering uh, this forested area. Um, and right behind me, just a few meters behind me, is this very very large expressway. But here's this beautiful mountain. Now, just in front of me uh, are uh, a series of uh, sort of breakwaters that were built after the disastrous Kunbi several years ago, uh, which came crashing down this, this exact mountain and slammed into uh, a series of uh, apartments just behind us, scooped out a couple of those apartments, killed some people. Uh, the Seoul government uh, has responded since then by uh, building uh, these breakwaters in case there is ever another uh, Kunbi event. Recall that that Kunbi was around 600 millimeters of rain in around a 24 hour period. It was just a torrent, an absolute torrent. Now, I'm holding the shot a little bit. I realize that apart from people who are uh, absolutely fascinated by uh, real-time hiking videos, uh, this may be a bit much. But notice the, uh, notice the increase in the sound of the insects already. We're now around 50 meters or so from the uh, big expressway. But the insect life, the intensity of their sound is starting to pick up. So there, just to, uh, to my right, are the apartment buildings in uh, which, uh, in which uh, basically a, an immense and lethal mudslide uh, came uh, 
rushing down this mountain and slamming into some of the units. Um, and to the left is, uh, uh, is a, a sort of artificial stream that was built afterwards by the government. It's a bit overgrown. Um, but this was all built after that couldn't be to control the waters. And uh, they've done quite a nice job with it. And they've, they've planted several trees which will grow up and, and make it look even sort of greener. And uh, there, above us, is, uh, is a half moon. So this is really uh, the feeling here. Again, uh, we're still so close to the expressway that you can hear it in the background. But at the same time, uh, this is right in the middle of uh, Seoul, which uh, is a very, very densely populated city. But it's, it's an absolutely beautiful spot. And hopefully they'll keep it that way. As I've mentioned in other videos, the pressure to develop, of course, is just enormous because this land is, is worth uh, astronomical sums. But uh, preserving it is worth it, and I wish they would do this even more in Seoul in some of the uh, other neighborhoods which uh, don't have uh, nature preserves quite like, uh, quite like this. Thank you.